top of the agenda. No sooner had the season resumed than the AFL has moved in, dissatisfied with what took place with the Sean Burgoyne punishment, which was a fine for a dangerous tackle rather than a suspension. The rules are tonight being rewritten at the behest of the CEO and his commission to ensure that in future the dangerous tackle will draw a ban. Bill with the clearance, in fact, ooh, that's a little dangerous to finish in part of that tackle. If you want to stamp the act out, just say it's a minimum week. Over the weekend, we, we identified an area in the AFL's tribunal guidelines that required an urgent amendment to ensure that the potential of dangerous tackle to cause injury can be taken into account by the MRO. We want to be clear, protection of the head is our highest priority. And we want all players at all levels and age groups to better understand that these tackles shouldn't be part of our game. It was urgent and it should have been done in the previous off-season. So the outcome was consistent in the way Michael Christian runs the match review is once Dangerfield rose, it was going to be a fine. It's always been galling, but it has been consistent. You called the game. What was your initial reaction? That he would be reported and then when Dangerfield rose, I said in our commentary, he will be fine because that's the way Michael runs the system. What did you... Want to happen. The game is better served by a suspension. Oh, absolutely. They, they, it's really odd, this one, because the, the public has been conditioned and the players have been conditioned that concussion, head, no, no, no. So we've all sort of said, OK, no worries, we've followed all, all this. And when this happened, everyone goes, oh, he's suspended. You, you cannot do this in football and not, not play the, and, and play, expect to play the next week. And when I come back with a fine, Jared, I, I nearly fell over. I said, you're wrong. You, you're wrong. You've conditioned us and you've just slapped everyone in football in the face because you've, you've applied, you've applied your, your guidelines, which goes against everything that you're trying to do. So the, the AFL's come out, well done for coming out and fixing it, fixing it on the Monday. The day, the you know, the, the next available day, um, but they made a serious error on on Saturday morning when they when they judged his case. They could have suspended him, Jared. They could have, but they could have, and they and didn't. The MRO doesn't use his power that way, and as I say, it, it's consistent, but it has been galling. This is it's all been around outcome rather than action. Steve. This action is a suspendable offence and then your consequence should grow from there. And that's why it should have been tidied up in the off-season. It was incumbent for the league to bring together its tribunal and its match review officer. The last time Christian used um, potential to cause injury, he got rolled at the tribunal. Uh, it was the Dustin Martin case early last year, which he put up as medium. Oh, when he punched um, and, and it Matt went to the Paul. tribunal and they bounced it down to low. They just disregarded mm. the potential to cause injury. Yeah. It, 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 there was a clear window to sort this out, and now it has been sorted out. So kudos for fixing that. But Steve Hocking, as you know, the, 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 remember when we were all growing up? Oh, they're independent, the tribunal. They're far from independent. Well, my, the match review officer's not independent. It's a branch of the football oh, department, which is why it should have been tidied Steve up beforehand. Steve Hocking ticked it off. And then, that's right, and then the tribunal that sort of needed to be brought into line is this is what we're trying to achieve here rather than the literal interpretation. So why do you think they responded? From the, from think, the public outcry? Well, was it I, from clubs? Or did, no, did the commission... I think it's come chair? right from the top. I, so I, Richard Gordon rang and said, hey, we're not happy with we, this. We can't have this in the yeah. game. And... I'm yet to hear anybody make a, a sensible case as to no. why it should be anything other than a suspension. No, neither have I. So, neither have I. It, do you know what? It's the right thing to do because it's the right thing to do. Yeah. Um, and if it's come from the Commission for the good of the game, then so be it. It should have been done sooner, but at least it's in place now. What a 